Right, we have a Bernoulli's differential equation and we need to solve x dy dx plus y equals x squared y squared. We prepare a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step manner as follows. Right. Now, first things first, uh, we note that uh, we have been given x dy dx plus y, which equals x squared y squared. We divide through by x, getting dy dx plus 1 over x y, which equals x y squared. Now we have transformed the differential equation into this standard form. At this point, uh, we compare. We compare with. Right, so we compare it with dy dx plus p of x y, which equals f of x y to the power n, uh, which is valid for um, integers n. But uh, we recommend the use when n is not zero and when n is not one, because uh, when n is zero, when n is one, this becomes a linear equation, which is very, very easy to solve, okay? And so we compare with this, but we let, at this point, uh, we let u, right, be equal to y to the power one minus n. And this is enough. So after we transform it and we compare, we can see dy dx, so we can see p of x becomes one over x, then there is y, f of x is x, and then, then there's y to the power n, which is exactly y squared. At this point, uh, we proceed to solve this uh, differential equation um, in detail as follows. So at this point, by comparison, you can see that uh, um, in the formula, this which is the Pinoli's equation, there is y to the power a, and here you have y squared. So which means y would be equal to, or u would be equal to y uh, uh, to the power one minus a, and, and that means u is equal to y to the power one minus a, and, and this implies that u to the power one minus two, and this is this. This is that. Okay, what do we do with this? We differentiate this. We differentiate this. Um, right, so if we differentiate this or we, before we differentiate, we can make y the subject of this equation and we write y is u to the power minus one. And then now we can be able to get dy dx which is dy du, du dx. Okay. Um, this is courtesy, is courtesy of what you call the chain, the chain rule. Okay, chain rule of differentiation. At this point, what does this mean? It means that if we have dy dx, it equals, what is dy du? dy du is a minus u to the minus two du dx. Okay, so we are in business now. So wherever there is a, uh, in this particular differential equation, so now we recall that we transformed it to this form here. So we actually bring that form back. And uh, we have dy dx like this plus one over x y, which equals uh, x y squared. And what is uh, dy dx? It is minus uh, u squared du dx. So it is minus u to the minus two du dx, right, plus. So we have a one over x, 
what is y equal to? Right, y is equal to uh, u to the power minus 1, okay? So we can write that one there in the place of y, u to the power minus 1. We write that one. Right, wherever there is y, we write u to the power minus 1, which equals x. So wherever there is y, we write u to the power minus 1, and we square this. Right, and this is u to the minus 2 du dx plus uh, 1 over x, 1 over u, which equals uh, x uh, u to the minus 2. We multiply through by um, minus u to, uh, to the power 2. We multiply by minus u squared, both left and right. We get, therefore, du dx minus. Okay, multiplying these by minus u squared means that we have a minus 1 over x u. And this is equal to minus x, like this. At this point, uh, this is easy to solve, but very, very straightforward, because what we have is that du dx minus 1 over x u is actually equal to minus x. And and then now we can be able to find what you call the integrating. The integrating factor. What is the integrating factor? It is clearly e to the power, the integral of the coefficient, which is minus the coefficient of u, which is minus 1 over x. And this is uh, minus the natural log of x which is exactly the same as x to the power. Let's first write one step, one intermediate step here. So at this point, uh, we can see therefore that this is e to the lean of x to the minus one. And this is e to the, is x to the minus one like so. Uh, right, so we take um, the x to the power minus one, we multiply both sides, multiply each term by this. So, which means we have x to the power minus one du dx, right? We multiply this one as well uh, by x to the power minus one. We have uh, one over x u. We multiply by x to the minus one. We have minus x like so. Right, at this point, uh, we have x to the minus 1 du dx minus u, which equals uh, minus 1, okay? And this is what we have achieved so far, which means we have x to the minus 1 du dx, right? And uh, we have uh, minus u. Right, we have uh, my, so now this would actually be um, x to the minus two u. Let me write, uh, let's write uh, this uh, properly. So this will become x to the minus two u, which equals uh, indeed um, a minus one. Okay, so that is what uh, we're gonna have. So we have x to the minus one du dx, and then we have uh, minus x, minus x. So this one is going to become exactly minus x to the minus 2 u equals minus 1. At this point, uh, we write this as d dx of x to the power minus 1 u, which equals minus 1 like this. And uh, this can be written as uh, uh, d of x to the minus 1 u, which is minus dx. So if you integrate both left and right, which is uh, x to the minus 1 u, the integral of minus dx, what does this become? Okay, so we have achieved the integral of d of x to the minus one u, which equals uh, the integral of minus dx. Okay, so this is uh, um, x to the minus one times u minus x plus c, like this. Okay, what is the meaning of this here? We multiply through by x, both left and right. Right, giving us minus x squared plus cx. 
Okay. Um, since. Since. What do we know? Since we know that uh, y is equal to u to the power minus 1. And this then implies that y is 1 out of u, which is 1 out of what is u? u is uh, minus x squared plus uh, cx, like this. Okay. And uh, this is uh, the solution to the problem. And uh, we have solved this problem in detail. So in other words, what is the meaning of this in other words? <clears throat> okay, we conclude. Um, hence, if x dy dx plus y is actually equal to x squared y squared, then y is equal to 1 divided by minus x squared plus cx. And this is the answer. And we have solved this problem in detail. So thanks everybody for your time and attention and goodbye to you.